left is Egypt. There used to be a border line that runs just several feet away. It was blown down when Hamas came into power. When suicide bombers detonated themselves in Israel, Israeli tanks would come down this strip and fire at these buildings. This is a Palestinian apartment building. It's still inhabited by uh, many families. It's just riddled with bullet holes. Israel would bring its tanks and weapons in and fire directly on these houses. These attacks are usually retaliatory attacks after a suicide bombing. They show how broad the revenge is. People still live in this building. You can see their curtains. There's practically no walls left but they still have laundry hanging. It never ceases to amaze me what people live through and continue to live in. To me, this is the most important side of conflict, is how everyday people are affected and how their lives are changed forever by what goes on around them. Visiting El Wafa Hospital in Gaza City is something I did two years ago, and I wanted to return. This hospital is located right across from the Israeli border, and not only does it take care of a lot of patients that are injured in fighting, it also gets hit by the Israeli fire often. I met a young man who was a triple amputee. He was injured four months ago when he was walking home from school, and a missile landed near him. They had to amputate his right and left leg, one of his arms, and his other arm has a two and a half finger left on it. And he's struggling to learn how to live and to pick up the pieces. And he was kind enough to let me photograph him, which I'm sure is not comfortable. I think one of the reasons is he needs prosthetics. He needs a way to walk, he needs a way to use one of his hands, and he feels that my pictures might bring light on his situation and might help him. I think a lot of war photographers only go for the action shots and only go for the chaos and the blood. But there's different ways of telling stories that are just as powerful. The fighting lasts a few minutes, but the rest of his life has changed. It's not just the dropping of a bomb, it's altering people's lives. It's altering his family's life who will have to care for him for as long as they live. It's very difficult. And they do this every time he needs to go to the hospital. He's physical therapy almost every day. Uh, the family has sacrificed everything to help, uh, you know, their brother, their son get through this attack. Is it possible to see how your brother helps you? I think a lot of people would argue about my job. Does it change anything? Does it do anything? But I, I believe it can. I believe if people really understand and know the hardships people go through in war zones and what it's like for them, there's no way you can see that and not be affected by it.